you know, we don't always have enough time to cover everything in the recent news. So here with the recap is one of our writers, Amber Ruffin, with a segment we call Amber Says What? You guys, the last couple months have been crazy. Okay, so first of all, Donald Trump went to the World Series and got booed. And I was like, what? <laughs> then he went to a UFC fight and also got booed. And I was like, oh, what? <laughs> then during his book tour, Donald Trump Jr. got booed off stage. And I was like, what? <laughs> I didn't know getting booed was hereditary. <laughs> so then everyone was like, have you seen Cinderblock? And I was like, what? I don't watch wrestling. Then they were like, it's a cat. And I was like, what? Why would you name a cat Cinderblock? And they showed me a picture, and I was like, what? <laughs> that is a Cinderblock with whiskers. So apparently, this cat has gained too much weight and has to walk on a treadmill in a puddle. And I was like, what? <laughs> Look, if it gets to the point where you have to put me in a harness and make me walk on a treadmill in a puddle as I beg you to stop, let me die. <laughs> Then I read that a French lady gave birth to a baby at a nightclub, and I was like, quoi? <laughs> Vous ne devriez pas se coucher dans un club? <laughs> but then I read that the baby would have free entry for life, and I was like, quoi? Quel bébé cool. <laughs> then the man who wrote the movie Harriet about Harriet Tubman said that a studio executive once suggested that Julia Roberts play her, and people were like, what? <laughs> but I was like, what? Everyone should play whoever they want. That's why you can catch me in Y'all Want This Flag? The Betsy Ross Story. <laughs> then there was a rally called Black Voices for Trump. Uh, I'm sorry. Can you not have that, like, right by my head? Lower, lower, even farther. Oh, bless your heart. Now, there was a rally called Black Voices for Trump, and I was like, what? If you think your Trump-supporting relatives are embarrassing, imagine how embarrassed you would be if they were black. Now, I wouldn't know, because I don't have any Trump supporters in my family. Dumb enough to say something. <laughs> so then, quarter, former quarterback Colin Kaepernick got invited to train in front of coaches to see if they want to sign him. And I was like, what do you need to see him work out for? You know damn well that even if he did nothing but eat cheeseburgers and play Xbox for the past three years, he's still better than Daniel Jones. <laughs> and that's something I overheard one of our security guards say. <laughs> the only thing I know about football is that it gives you dementia. <laughs> then White House advisor Stephen Miller, you know, the guy who's in charge of all the terrible stuff happening at the border, had a bunch of his emails leaked, and they were full of racist stuff. And people were like, what? I think this guy is a racist. <laughs> and I was like, what? A teachable moment. So stick with me here. <laughs> the White House hired Stephen Miller to be in charge of what's happening at the border. Now, what's happening at the border is racist. <laughs> that means that Stephen Miller is racist. So. If you are okay with what's happening at the border, even after reading Miller's emails, then you are a racist. <laughs> and that's a lesson you can take to Thanksgiving dinner. Your racist uncle's gonna be like, what? <laughs> so, back to fun. Year when they came out with a trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog movie, and when everyone saw the creepy new version of Sonic, they were like, what? <laughs> well, they went back and changed him, and I saw the new Sonic, and I was like, what? He looks great. I don't even remember what the old one looks like anymore. Ah! <laughs> I'm just kidding. It lives on in my nightmares. <laughs> then they put up a tree at Rockefeller Center, and I was like, what? Then they put a star on top of the tree. Do you know how I know? Because I saw it from my office window. Look! Look, it's the Christmas tree star. Whoa, it's the wind and it's gonna take a while. <laughs> Step in the Christmas and by my dress up in it. It's not for Christmas, so we get it biscuits. Yay! That's Christmas. Yay! That's Christmas! Christmas is now. 
was like, what do I have to do to get to go up there and get right up next to it? So I asked, and they let me. Look, this has been Amber Says What? <laughs>